In this video, I'll be doing a lower leg service on a Fox fork, and I'm not going to use any Fox specific suspension tools. I'm only going to use tools you've probably got lying around in your bike cave or your garage, but I'll leave a full list of everything you need down in the description below. Now you can do this with your fork still on your bike, but it's a little bit awkward. So if you can pull the fork off the bike and stick it in something like a bike stand, it makes everything much, much easier. If you've got any questions, stick them down in the comments below. Please subscribe and enjoy the video. Remove the cap that's covering up the rebound adjustment and then using a two millimeter Allen key, if you just undo the bolt on the outer adjuster. Now, if you've just got low speed rebound, you'll only have one adjuster here. That's the outer one. Don't lose the little washer in there. That just comes off. And if you've got high speed as well, high speed rebound, that's the second dial that just slides off. It's only held in by the low speed one. Using a 10 millimeter uh, socket or spanner, if you undo the bolt at the bottom of the air side, now don't undo this all the way, just undo it a couple of turns. I'll show you why in a minute. Do the same with the damper side. This one's a 15 mil. So again, just a couple of turns. Do not do it all the way just yet. Now using a small piece of wood and a hammer, if you gently tap on these nuts, it should release the air side shaft and the damper side shaft from the lower leg. Be careful not to touch that rebound adjuster as you will do some damage. The reason why I've left the bolts on and just loosened them is it means the threads are still covered up and protected. And that should release them. Undo the nuts completely and any hardware that's behind them, take off too. Don't lose any of that. Now there should be the outer nut on each side and also a little plastic washer. Don't lose either of these because you will need to put them back on later. For this next part, you're gonna need a big tub, like a hero's tub or a celebrations tub, or a big rag to catch all the oil that comes out of your fork. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick that below the fork, spin it round so it's above it. You may get oil coming out already, that's fine. If not, grab the lowers, give them a little bit of a slide down, and you should, should start to see oil coming out of the forks. Leave it there for a couple of minutes, let all of that oil drain out before we go any further. The next part can get a little bit oily, so I've just stuck some gloves on to protect my hands. Grab the uppers and slide the lowers all the way off. Give everything a really good clean, ready for the next step. The lowers and the uppers and those seals. Using your two millimeter Allen key, you need to retrieve these foam rings that are on the inside of each leg. So there's one. They're not always that easy. And there's two. Give the inside of that leg a nice good clean. Remove any grip that might have been trapped. Before you go any further, you need to know how much oil you're gonna need and what type. If you go on the Fox website, there's a load of different charts on there. It's very easy to find your particular fork and the information you need. So for me, I've got a 2019 set of 36s with a grip two damper. And for me, I need some five weight Teflon infused for the damper side, I need 40 cc's of it. And for the air bath side, I need 10 cc's of the 20 weight gold. All I've done here is I've just got a new foam ring sitting in the relevant oil type for, uh, for each side. I'm just gonna leave it there for five, 10 minutes to soak up the oil before I install them. You now need to reinstall your foam rings. Now, if you've got them soaking in different oils like I do, make sure you get them the right way around. So my 28 gold is this one, and that's the air bath side, which is the left-hand leg. So I'm gonna take out that foam ring, let it drain off for a sec and then I'm gonna stick it back where the other one came from. You will get oil everywhere doing this. It can be a little bit fiddly. Make sure it's seated all the way around. So that one is. And then do the other side.
again, check it's sat in correctly once you've done it. Next, grab your lowers and stick them back onto the uppers. Now the damper side with the adjustment at the end is your right hand leg. This can be really fiddly. Take your time. Now when you slide them on, slide them on part way up but not all the way. Don't get that air shaft and damper sticking out the end just yet, just off the end. As we haven't put the lowers all the way onto the uppers, the holes at the bottom of each leg should still be empty. And this is where we're going to put the oil for our air side bath and our damper side bath. For me, on the air side, I needed 10 cc's of the 20 weight gold. So that goes in there. And for the damper side bath, I needed 40 cc's of the 5 weight Teflon infused. Once you've done that, push those lowers on all the way until you've got the two bolts, one coming out of each side. From here, if you reinstall everything as it was before, so plastic washer, a nut on the damper side, plastic washer, a nut for the air side as well. Make sure you tighten these nuts to the correct setting. We now need to reinstall our rebound adjustment. If you have high speed rebound, that one goes on first with the deepest side facing up the fork, that just slots on. And then with the low speed adjuster, just make sure that pinch ball is in line with the flat part of the adjustment at the end there. Tighten it up to the correct setting and then install the cap. Finally, just give your fork a bit of a rub around just to wipe off any excess oil. Stick the fork back onto your bike and it's worth checking your compression and rebound settings just to make sure you haven't accidentally knocked them whilst you've been working on your fork. I hope you guys found this video useful. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.